All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome here to the Han Tour World Finals 2016 from Bangkok, Thailand. I'm Matthew Matical, joined here by one of Complexity's players. What you got? How's it going so far today? Oh, it's going great. Yeah, glad to be here. And Smash that subscribe button and drop a like on the video. Come on. <laughs> Attack this player. Come on. <laughs> stand outside the spawn here and we start here on the easy camp so we got the best spawn here very lucky for us we got snotters they deal the least damage they make you spin the fastest because there are the most amount of units there and most importantly we do not need to eat a blight because we took hardly any damage from that first camp so now we're going to go ahead we have 270 gold we're going to spend that on a uh i'm going to show it from my point of view actually which is better a second iron buckler and we're going to hatch it here and move our body. Very important that we walk up here so that the creeps, as you can see here, walk back. Your money, your and now we have two bucklers. And you might say to me, Wig, is it necessary to buy two bucklers? And the answer is yes. It does reduce extra damage. And what it allows us to do is we are going to be able to take triple stack uh, hard camp at level 3 and level 4. So without the buckler, we will take a lot of extra damage and we will need a lot of extra damage. So here, I'm just going to rewind this really quickly because I want to make sure to point this out here. When we go to farm the double medium, we wait till it all pulls together and we make sure that we charge in the cone so that every unit gets hit with that debuff. So I'll show you guys one more time here, just really quickly, which is the beauty of a replay, of course. So I pull it together and then I charge it and everything gets hit by that terrifying charge debuff. So I take the least amount of damage and I spin as quickly as possible. So level three, we're going to get going. terrifying charge. So we started with whirling blade level Your one, terrifying charge go. level two and level three. And I now we are going to page. wait here to triple stack I our hard camp, page. which we are going to take at level three. So in this video, we are not going to be That's camping any runes. We are just strictly going to be showcasing the jungle creep rotation. It is perfectly viable here to stack and run this way and camp the rune for your team. You might get a double damage, you might get an illusion rune, which are all very good for working on jungle camps. Now, here's what we do. We see it's Skelly King, so we're gonna run over to here and we're going to charge to make sure once again we hit the most amount of units possible. Very important here. So the debuff lasts for five seconds. We are not going to take this camp all at once we are going to deal damage to it wait for the terrifying charge debuff to wear off and now we are going to back away and we are going to finish this camp later we are going to go ahead here and use our health potion um, so that way our next health potion will come up as quickly as possible and we will continue to eat blights we will work on the medium camp here and we are going to get level four from this so we're going to get level two in the whirling blade once this completes and now we have level two in our uh, spin. We're going to continue to eat trees. I shouldn't hatch at that because it might not come up in time, but it's gonna end up working out here. So we go ahead and we kill this camp. We are level five by 244. So we are level five already under three minutes. This is an amazing rotation. We are already going to be way above everybody else in the game we're going to go ahead and get level three in the spin here and the reason why i said we shouldn't have used our hatchet is because our hatchet is on cooldown and we got double range creep so this was actually a mistake by me to use that hatchet there but it's going to end up working out okay i'm going to run in the spawn here at 53 aggro that camp hatchet comes up just in time we throw the hatchet we run this way and we're going to end up stacking both the camps as you can see here this stacked and this stacked so everything ended up working out okay don't run away we are eating a, a blight so we're constantly using our hp again so we, we keep ferrying ourselves out blights And we are getting very close to our first item, which is going to be our Helm of the Victim. So we're going to take out this camp here. We are going to 
that uh, buy ourselves hum of the victim and a health potion now because we are low on that the life. And then easy. what we are going to do is we're going to wait until the four minute to stack both of these camps. No, so we are already level six before no four say. minutes. Again, we are farming very, very well here. And we are halfway towards our Whispering Helm. Once we get the Whispering Helm, we are going to be able to start stacking the Ancients. So we go ahead, we throw the hatchet there, we run in, we stack this camp. Again, we don't camp the rune, which is okay. You could camp the rune in a real game, but again, for the sake of the jungling, we are not going to be camping any runes in practice mode here. We're going to go ahead and we make sure to charge all the creeps in the camp. We, uh, something I didn't point out as well is you want to attack everything evenly, and you're going to do that every time you farm a jungle camp. You're not going to sit on the same creep, you're going to hit once, hit once, hit once, hit everything that's high HP. You want everything to die evenly so you spin as much as possible. Level 7, we get level 4 in the Whirling Blade. Now we have 30 seconds until the next stack timer, so we are able to kill this one in the spawn, and then we can wait and stack this one. So we have 600 gold now, we need 900 for the um, Whispering Helm to be completed. We're getting very, very close. We should have that by about 6 minutes, I believe. So we're getting very close to our Whispering Helm. And at this point, we don't need to ferry ourselves out any more regen. We have Double Buckler and Helm of the Victim. We are almost full on HP. We're level 7, so we kill camps very, very quickly with maxed out Whirling Blade. And also, I did point out this in the when I explained the abilities, but here, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2 second cooldown on the spin. So this is also another big reason why we max out the spin first. We spin more frequently. And yes, it does have a big difference. You might think, well, 150 to 185 or 185 to 215 is not a lot of damage. It is a lot of damage. It does add up, and you do kill camps very, very quickly when you max out the Whirling Blade. The one extra second debuff on the Terrifying Charge per level is not um, the biggest of deals. If we were getting... Um, Invaded in our jungle, we could skip some points in Terrifying Charge, put one into Taunt and one into Decapitate, and we could look to help our team um, set up kills. But for the sake of the farming, the most efficient way, we would max out Whirling Blade and then ch the Terrifying Charge second. So we will continue to farm here. We will use our charge here on the this Undead Warrior, which makes this hit everything. So we have 700 gold now, nine, uh, 860. We kill the uh, easy camp again here, and this will give us enough gold for our Whispering Helm. So we have a Whispering Helm by about the 530 mark, which is uh, very good timing here. We are level 8 now. We just hit the level 8 before 530. So we are more than two levels uh, above the minute mark. We're going to go ahead and use our... Actually, we don't need to use our Terrifying Charge here. We do take a little bit of damage, but it's okay. Now, I could take over this creep right away. Something I want, before we continue I want to explain is what are the best creeps to dominate with our Whispering Helm as a Legionnaire? So creep number one, the best creep, is Vagabond Leader. The reason for that is you get five health regen um, as an aura, and you have the... Uh, it, it deals a lot of damage, and it has the best... Um, spell to help clear stacks with. It has the Ground Pound, which does 170, I believe, damage in AoE on a very low cooldown. So that is the best creep. The second best creep is the Skeleton King, which spawned here. So this is my second best option. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to dominate this right away. I'm going to stack this camp because I know that I can't make the Ancient Camp stack in time. And I want to see if I get lucky and get a Vagabond Leader spawn. So if I get a Vagabond Leader spawn, I will take the Vagabond Leader. If I don't, I will take the Skeleton King. The next order would be the Vulture Lord is the third best creep because it has extra armor and an aura and it has Tornado for when I go to take Triple Ancients. The fourth uh, best is Catman because it gives a mana regeneration aura. And the worst creep is Minotaur because it only gives attack speed, and we don't care about attack speed aura as a legionnaire. We are more so focused on um, tanking up and spinning with our Whirling Blade as much as possible. So, best creep, Vagabond Leader. Second best creep, Skeleton King. Vulture Lord is third best. It's okay if you get uh, 
if you get unlucky and you get Minotaur or Catman and you want to take the Vulture Lord, that is okay as well. But you only, you never pretty much want to take Catman or Minotaur with your Whispering Helm. Those are the worst groups to dominate. So we will continue to go ahead here. I'll fast forward this a little bit. We will stack. We will run back, avoid any damage. And we see, oh, it's one Catman. So we don't want Catman. We're going to take that Skeleton King. And we don't move this creep over to stack just yet. We have plenty of time that we're going to have to use it to help us farm and kill the camps quicker. We're going to go ahead and keep using that creep. It deals 82 damage, so it is it is nice. We're going to use the creep here to finish off that one. And now that it's 626, we're going to send the Skeleton King over to the Ancients. And that will be what we use to stack. We're going to hit level 9 here pretty soon, I believe by the 7 minute mark, because I believe we're going to... Okay, we're actually going to kill this in the spawn. We have 20 seconds before the creep spawn. We don't even need to use our terrifying charge, even on a hard cam. We can kill this very easily. We send our Skeleton King right here, and we're going to wait for 653, and then we are going to attack the Dread Beetle here and run the creep down. We make sure we don't block the spawn. We move our hero here as well. And now we have a double stack. So we're going to actually use the Skeleton King here to continue farming for uh, the next like 30 seconds or so. We're level 9 by 7 minutes. Um, if I take a look at our XPM, we have 640 XPM. The GPM doesn't work properly because it's a replay, or it's practice mode, excuse me. And uh, we start with like 3,000 gold, so it doesn't work properly, but we have very high XPM. So now we're back to uh, 730. We send the Skeleton King back over to the Ancients. We continue to farm. And we will now triple stack the jungle. We have enough gold for our Striders and a TP. So we post Whispering Helm, we're going to build into Striders. Now we have um, some mobility. And we're going to be able to kill this hard camp once again before the 8 minute mark spawns. So 7.53, I wait for the clock. We stack, we run the creep down. And we're already running our hero. We, we've clear, cleared all four of the jungle camps. Um, we're able to kill all four without using our terrifying charge at all. And we have triple stack agents. Another point I want to make, uh, make, which I have done in my other jungle educationals, is again, we do not touch this camp or this camp. We leave these two camps for our short lane to utilize pulling um, and get farm on our support. So we only need to farm these four camps. Never go to here or here, and not even in the early game. The only times you would ever take those camps is if you have more than two blocked camps if you have like like three of these four camps blocked in the beginning of the game and you need to start getting yourself going then you can go ahead and take those camps and you tell your support that you, you need help unblocking the camps but otherwise you only need these four camps and ancients to farm so again we were we are level nine here we have maxed out terrifying charge whirling blade and we have skilled our decapitate we go ahead and Hold on one second. We go ahead and we're going to ch charge the first creep in the camp here, which is the Dragon Master. You can see the way it's sitting. So we're going to walk here and charge the Dragon Master. And this will hit more or less everything. We're going to use our Skeleton King to deal some damage as well. And once we hit level 10, we're going to insta-skill our taunt and we're going to use it because it's going to help prevent a little bit of damage here. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. It does help. So. If we had a Vagabond Leader instead of a Skeleton King, we would be using that Vagabond Leader to follow us and heal us for 5 HP per second. So we would have more or less 12 HP per second, which is a lot. But since we have a Skeleton King, we need to send ourselves a Health Potion. We're going to use that while we farm. It does not get removed from the jungle creeps. We're going to send our Skeleton King over here to stack both these two camps and our hero to stack this one. So what I do here is I will try to show it the best I can. We attack once, we still haven't used our hero yet, we attack here, move back, and then we throw the hatchet and move up. So we have just stacked three creeps, and how we do this is we bind our Skeleton King, or, well, we've done this since uh, minute six, but we bind our Skeleton King to control two, and our hero to control one. We use two, we hit, we move down, we hit, we move back, and then we throw hatchet here with our hero. So now we have all of the jungle camps stacked other than this easy camp. So we're going to go ahead here. We're going to use our Whirling Blade because it's a double stack and it helps us kill it faster. And the Ancients have now respawned. So we're going to once again 
start using our skeleton king to stack the ancients so we go ahead and we send our skeleton king over to the ancients to continue stacking we've already taken one triple stacked ancient we are on 1400 gold at nine minutes we're level 11 we're doing very very well we're gonna have our portal key very soon we're, we got a couple of stacks to work on here we go ahead and we use our charge and we will stack that in the next uh, 13 seconds here we don't have our uh, our charge up, but that's okay. We can kill this very easily. And this should give us level 12, I believe. Level 12 before 10 minutes. So, or, actually, actually, we are one creep away. We go ahead and we stack at 9.53. We run the creep back, just like we did the other times. We continue to farm. We're going to do another jungle rotation, kill these four uh, camps, and then we will stack this ancient one more time, and that will give us our portal key. So we're going to fast forward a little bit here. This is uh, pretty basic. We just attack everything evenly. We spin. We go to, I believe the easy camp will be the next camp here. We're going to kill this one as well. We are almost at portal key. Ten and a half minutes in, we have 2180 gold. So once we kill this hard camp here, we will have enough gold for our portal key. So there we go ahead and we buy our portal key. And we are just about to f farm another triple stack agent. So at under 11 minutes, this is more or less a perfect jungle rotation. Under 11 minutes, we are level 12, two points and uh, taunt and maxed out charge. Whirling Blade and Decapitate. We have Portal Key Striders, Whispering Helm, and Two Bucklers.